Mr. Atul Kumar, congratulations on securing All India first rank with electrical yes. engineering stream in engineering mm -hmm. service exam 2023. Thank we are you proud so much, to say sir. that you are a student of online test series and the interview mm -hmm. guidance program of is Engineering Academy. So yes, briefly introduce yourself. So my name is uh, Atul Kumar Singh and uh, uh, I am currently working in uh, Central Electricity Authority through uh, UPSC Engineering Services 2021 where I got my name in the reserve list. And uh, this time actually I secured All India Rank 1 in Electrical Engineering. Um, previous to that I was uh, working in NTPC and mm. uh, uh, UPPCL as an assistant engineer. Okay. So, you are coming to the prelims exam. What is your preparation strategy for general studies paper? So, general studies is kind of, uh, the syllabus is not that defined in general studies. Right. So, I have mainly focused upon uh, the static part, like uh, maths aptitude should, there should not be any question which should, which get uh, messed up in the maths and aptitude. Other than that, I, I focused on engineering drawing and project management. But uh, uh, compared to general studies, since it is a very unpredictable paper in the engineering services, I yeah. focus more on the technical paper so technical. that I can, I can get more marks uh, in the prelims. So in the, the technical paper, you have three hours time. So yes, how do you manage your time in solving uh, 150 questions? Right? Yes, sir. How you managed your time? Sir, um, in the first go, I used to solve all the simple and easy questions that can be done in a very uh, yeah. less time. First time. Then, and then uh, I will uh, encircle the questions which is little tough, but which I can do, which I do in the second round. And the third round, I maybe like if at all I feel like 50-50, then I take some, um, uh, you can say a guess type thing. If I'm 50 15, uh, some questions. Yes. Because there are a few questions uh, which are like subjective questions which you need to take some step of uh -huh. guessing. That's called elimination uh -huh. technique, basically. Okay. So that is it. So, very good strategy filtering, filtering the questions. Yes, yes, yes. Can do, <laughs> may take more time, 50% chances. Very yes, good. So, without calculator, you have to solve some of the numerical problems. <coughs> yes, definitely, there will be some numerical problems. Yes. Sir. How you have uh, solved those questions? So actually, I learned few uh, values. Like uh, if I talk about one by pi, it's zero point three two. One by root two is zero point seven zero seven. Okay. And uh, like these type of things, root three by two is zero point eight six seven. Okay. And Some standard numericals. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So that in uh -huh. the exam it will be a little easy for me. Uh huh. So yeah. anyway, in. Uh, in four options, you have to choose one of the options. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. As nowadays, generally, people use the word cheat code, something, some shortcuts. Any shortcuts yes, are there in getting a, a good score in objective papers? Sir, um, shortcut is not there, but I think if you solve the PYQs of the previous year questions ah. of engineering services, and uh, even you should also solve the mains uh the, this thing also because sometimes it helps in the prelims direct mm. questions may come you mm. can also solve the civil services the electrical engineering questions because mm. in one question you will find many concepts in uh if you go for yes. the mains questions yeah. so it will uh in somehow in some way it will definitely boost your score in the prelims otherwise uh, I, okay uh, please can please can otherwise sir i think there is no such a cheat code uh, for uh, this prelims i think okay so, how many times you might have revised the previous year questions? What are the chances of repetition of same or similar questions? So, chances uh, nowadays because the level of engineering services mains paper if I talk about it, even the prelims is uh, getting higher because there is no repetition of question. But since the concept is uh, same, if mm -hmm. I talk about electrical machine and power electronics, the concepts are same. So mm -hmm. maybe they'll modify the question, but the same question won't be repeating. So I think uh, in that way, if you uh, revise the PYQs, then you will get the grip of the concept. And if at all some other model come on that concept, then you will be able to handle it more easily. If at all you have not seen the PYQs of that particular concept. Okay. There are certain subjects from electronics engineering background in yes. IES electrical. 
seem to say something like uh, communication engineering. Yes, yes. Sir. Are you prepared for them or you left them with the subject? No, sir. Actually, uh, in my engineering services uh, exam, I have never, uh, I have not left any subject because if at all a simple question is coming in the exam, then uh, every student will be doing and I'll be leaving it so it will affect my score in the mm -hmm. main uh, result. So I didn't leave any subject in the engineering services. Okay. So how many hours you used to prepare? Because you're already working. Yes. You're already working. How many hours you used to alert for preparation? Sir, uh, I'll say um, I used to study not that much high hours, but less hours, like three to four hours I used to study after my job. Like mm -hmm. at six, I'll get leave. And then from eight o'clock to 12 o'clock, I used to study. Uh, but in that uh, four hours or three hours, effectively, I'll say three hours, not four hours. I used to uh, practice a lot mm -hmm. and give test series. Test so series. I think uh, test series is very important uh, in my success. So mm -hmm. uh, because it will help to find out your weakness and you should work upon your weakness to get a good score and a good rank in this exam. Coming to the interview, uh, whether they asked any current affairs questions, Yes, sir. Actually, my father is working in Indian Railways. So they asked me about like, uh, um, like what, uh, like I used to uh, stay in a place called Busawal in Maharashtra. Okay. So uh, the chairman asked me about what is the significance of that place uh, according to the railway perspective. So actually, second biggest yard of Asia is present in Busawal. So he asked me the reason and um, I gave the reasons. Then he was talking about the carrying capacity of the railways and all those things. So that, that was something which is apart from my technical background that he asked me. So it appears that uh, we can expect the possible uh, interview mm -hmm. questions related to current affairs, no? Yes, sir, yes. Sir. Definitely it's very important because to few of my friends, they even asked about the Israel war and all those things. Okay, uh, okay, yes, okay. So uh, how you have uh, faced the technical questions? Uh, in sir, in... In technical question interview, um, I said the question they asked me was uh, not uh, that much tough. It was basic level question. I think they were uh, trying to figure out whether I'm able to uh, answer the basic questions or not. Because the hard questions, obviously, they are given the mains. So they were trying to find out the basic knowledge I have about the questions or not. So they were asking in all those perspects. Suppose you don't know the answer of a particular question in the interview. What was your response to the members? Hmm. They asked a question, you don't know the answer. What was your response? Sir, if at all, yes, sir. Sir, if at all it is a technical question and I know something about it, then I used to try to get the answer of that. Like they asked me about uh, the solar power plant. Uh, like huh. what is the rating of the inverter in solar power plant? The hmm. so rating of inverter I was not knowing, but uh, I, was knowing, no, I was knowing of a plant which of 600 megawatts on 400 kV. So based upon that, I was trying to figure out that what can be the rating of the inverter and that turned uh, correct for that question. So I think uh, uh, if at all you have uh, knowledge mm -hmm. of all those things, then you must try, I think, because they give you chance. If at all you don't know, uh, like you don't have, you have zero knowledge about something, mm -hmm. then I think it's better to say that uh, mm -hmm. I'm not able to uh, uh, tell now. Any questions on hobbies? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, no, on my hobbies, they didn't ask me because my hobbies are sir, actually singing and all guitar <laughs> playing. So they didn't ask me uh, questions on guitar. So what is your suggestion to the juniors, particularly those who are in the college, say final year, yes, or those who are mm -hmm. repeaters? Uh, sir, in my uh, thinking, I think uh, um, if at all we try, it may take a little more time than we expect. But in the last, if at all, we are doing hard work, then we'll definitely succeed. Apart from that, I think it's very important to uh, revise uh, and uh, give test series because in test series, you will find there are many silly mistakes that we commit. You should work upon all those silly mistakes and you should analyze yourself every time. You should make small, small targets every day that which subject you uh, will do today. Uh, that day you have to revise that subject, give that test series. Test series of ACE is very good because uh, even the mains test series and the prelims test series is very good. Because uh, if you solve all the test series, then somehow it will touch all the concepts that is present in that subject. 
So if at all you are leaving any concept, then this test series will help you in identifying that uh, wide zone area and you will work mm -hmm. over it. So I think uh, this is the most important thing. Test series is the very mo uh, very important part of uh, any exam, I think. Not only in which UPSC. year you suggest the college going students to start their preparation? Sir, I think I started late. I should have uh, focused in third year of my at least third year college, but I was actually indulged in cultural activities of my college. So I think uh, um, all the students, if at, if at all they are trying to uh, get a good rank in gate or engineering services in the fourth year or just after fourth year, then I think they should uh, focus from their third year. Okay, what is the difference between gate exam preparation and engineering science exam preparation from your perspective? Sir, actually, uh, I think uh, gate exam is... Uh, um, sir, I think uh, engineering services uh, analyze total personality of yours. Yes. Because Correct. it has three stages. Mm -hmm. Prelims, mains, and interviews. Exactly. So Inter you can't uh, you can't fool them basically. Because if at all you have guessed uh -huh. some question in the prelims, then you have to solve question in mains. And if at all you are doing uh, like you have solved all the question in mains, then obviously a score will be good. And in the interview, they will actually find out whether you are perfect for that cater or not. There are many caters in the engineering services. In the gate exam, uh, that three hours only define your uh, career. So mm -hmm. in that three years, maybe there, there is some student who will uh, maybe guess because there is a probability that that guess will get correct and uh, um, he'll get a good rank. But I think in UPSC engineering service, if you have a good knowledge of all these subjects, then only you are able to qualify. This is the biggest difference in both Great. exams. Thank you, Atul. Uh, once again, congratulations. Convey thank, you, thank you so much. 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 Thank you so much.